Hey guys, Bowcraft here, and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. So, we are here on a different map, actually. We're not on our on my uh, demo map at the moment, because I have been playing around on Space Engineers lately. Uh, first of all, I've built a new ship. Uh, it's a science vessel, the WSV Venture, as you can tell already. Um, but... It's not the ship itself that I'm demonstrating right now, it's what's inside this science vessel is what I'm demonstrating here. And now as you can tell there's a gaping hole in this side of the ship and that is what I'm showing off here. And also I am inside a new design of a work ship, it's called a beetle, mainly because they kind of look like beetles. And I kind of like using the, uh, the bug theme for my little work ship, so I currently have the beetle. I, I should work out- actually no, I do have the- ants from in the, the asteroid station but uh so yeah basically i'm just gonna uh latch this thing onto the side here uh there we go uh but yeah this is just a variant of the beetle that can just like load torpedoes or just carry equipment around this science vessel on this thing is currently assigned to the ship due to the orange stripe on the side which means testing um, but yeah, pretty much what I got in here is a bunch of gravity generators and a ship latched inside the testing chamber. And uh, basically, oh shoot, I need to uh, activate all of these gravity generators. I can still talk about what I'm doing here. But yeah, we got a bunch of gravity generators all pointing away from the ship and uh, due to the uh, an update recently where you can edit gravity generators which is very useful um, so yeah I currently have them all on negative one uh, G's of force so that means they'll push away instead of pull and uh, I've been uh, seeing a few videos here and there of like gravity like propelled things like uh, a gravity propelled ship I can link it video of that in the didgeridoo down below and then some uh just a lot of people playing around with gravity especially now with um, um how you can edit generators now uh that's so a lot of people have been playing around with gravity so i figured i'd jump in on this train of gravity but uh so yeah basically what this what this little ship you're seeing here is a gravity propelled escape pod and uh so basically, what I have inside the ship is a, it's a very simple design. The thrusters are there just for like stopping the ship, they're not really there for uh, main propulsion. But uh, as I cut open the top, I just lost some rock. Great. Okay. So, let me just do that so I don't lose any more. But uh, yeah, what I have here is uh, just a, a cockpit, a thin wall of a uh, five little generators and one gyroscope, and then I got this empty compartment just filled with rocks. And as and in space engineers, rocks are affected by gravity, but ships aren't. So what I can do is I can jump inside the ship. I will go into third person view so you can see the action a lot better. Uh, I'm going to disable power. Actually, no. Here's a better idea. I'll turn off the dampeners instead. Uh, and then what I have to do is just undock myself from the station and then I can just get simply propelled off into space, essentially. And since my uh, generators are off, or my inertia dampeners are off, I can... Look, and what's uh, holding me steady right now is that one gyro. Or actually, I have two gyroscopes. Never mind. But uh, yeah, they're holding me steady instead of like tumbling around, which is what happens if you shut off all power. But basically, if you need to get out of a ship really quick, it, it's a bit of a pain to set up because you have to like turn off some gravity gener the normal gravity generators and turn on other ones. So people are going to have to fly around the ship with uh, jetpacks, but uh, I'm going to stop the pod now and fly us back. But, um, so, uh, it can help you get out of the ship really fast, even though you could just, uh, uh, oh shoot, it's really hard to fly around with rocks in the back. Uh, even though you can just, uh, throw on a bunch of big engines or have, like, a beetle or work bee type ship, um, uh, for escape pods, but these things... It's a very small ship, it is uh, easy to use, no, it's not all that complex, all you need is some landing gear, 
a compartment for rocks, enough heavy rocks, and enough gravity, and you can just be pulled out. And I can't remember what the speed was on this test, but um, on the first test I hit like, oh shoot, I still have the generators on. Um, but yeah, on the first test it was like some 35 meters per second or something like that, uh, when I left the gravity field of the ship with just uh, 4 G's of acceleration with like several hundred kilograms of rock in the back. Um, but as you could tell, we lost a rock, so that means we had a, a little bit less force pulling on us. But uh, we still got out of the ship really fast in case if it was like exploding. You know, all I have to do is just jump in and hit P. And then you're off. You are off to adventure and just drifting out there in space as your ship blows up into the sun rays, I guess. You really can't have a sunset in, uh, in space, unfortunately. Unless you, like, go behind a planet, but there's no planets in Space Engineers yet, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show you right now. Um, oh, and another thing I want to say is, uh, earlier today, on, out on the date of recording this video, I hit 100 views on my channel, and I can't remember how long I've had my channel open, like, about two weeks or something like that, and I've already had 100 views. I just want to say thank you guys for all the views on... And uh, on my original channel, it took me like twice as long to do such a thing. So I'm very happy with uh, with you guys for watching videos and uh, subscribing. You know, uh, it'll help nothing out really, but uh, I'm still thankful. So <laughs> that was a very weird thank you. But anyways, uh, this is Bowcraft, and I bid you all farewell on your life's journeys and adventures. Thanks so much for watching.